Hi everyone, uh, Nick here. Just wanted to share with you two new features that we've uh, added uh, inside Leadsook to make your life easy. This is more in the management of the decision trees. So if I just go into the into the decision trees menu item here, oh, you'll see this new UI pop up over here. This new place for search by tags. Uh, that's going to allow you to search uh, your tags, uh, and it'll keep the tags sticky. So that way, yeah, whenever you come to this user interface, it automatically will. Um, will filter based on the tags you've previously set up, even if you log out and log back in. Uh, to use that, we basically need to go into our um, in the decision tree and the details section. You're going to see uh, a little, a new edition called uh, filter tags, which is right over here. So I can add things like uh, Nick. I can add things like, for example, my market. So in this case, I can say, you know, testing is what I have done. You can put in the month of the year. Uh, you can put in uh, the year itself. So uh, pretty much, you're you're kind of um, use your imagination to to filter however you want to filter. Uh, those people who are in a multi-team environment uh, could essentially use this as a way to make sure that that they're not uh, needlessly going to going through pages and pages of decision trees to find the the one that they want to work on. They can just save it this way. This way, it's easy to locate your own decision trees if you've made one or for a specific market or for a team member, or uh, it, it, essentially you use your imagination and filter as much as you want or as little as you want. All right, so I'm just gonna press, go ahead and save. Uh, then on this um, user, and then to use the filter, it's basically just uh, pressing the filter and, and then enter. And that way it'll filter it automatically because I've only added Nick to one, it's only showing one. And similarly, the filters are, or the tags used in by the filter are cumulative, so you can add as many as you want, and it'll keep filtering. And similarly, as you start removing, it'll, it'll reset the filter. The other thing we've added um, is we've made um, the page, the page is sticky. So if I go to page three now, it'll maintain page three, even if I go back to the dashboard, if I log out and log back in. Uh, it'll take me back to page three. And the reason why we've done that is because um, when you have, uh, you know, tens or hundreds of decision trees, especially if you're working. So if, if I go ahead and edit this now, so let's say if I want to do for this phone number, check decision tree, and I press decision trees again to go back, it'll, it'll take me back to, rather than take me back to the first page and I have to scroll back and forth again. All right, so just be mindful of the fact that uh, our the paging is uh, saved now to make it easy rather than having to always go back and forth. All right, so that uh, are two new features we've just added in to make uh, managing of decision trees nice and easy. Thanks and bye for now.